Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Uh, back with another lesson. I'll title this one uh, Unrighteous Men. Unrighteous Men. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yimla Alahayya Nawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Um, back with another lesson, a quick hit, but, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, the Lord is getting ready to send, uh, the ultimate judgment, you know, uh, uh, on this place, America, Babylon, man, you know, um, and, you know, we know judgment, it, it starts, uh, amongst the Lord's, uh, people at his sanctuary, you know, as scripture says, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you know, we know the Lord is coming back to deliver the, the, the elect. The Lord has, in this end time, like he said, he, you know, he has a remnant, uh, 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 an elect out of his people, a small remnant that he's going to come back and deliver and, and, and protect in this, in, this, in this time of trouble and danger of the great tribulation. You know, uh, those that uh, uh, have came back, they're seeking him early. They've, they've set aside their wickedness. They're rehearsing the righteous acts. They're teaching, they're listening. You know, uh, they're doing thus saith the Lord. They're not just hearers of the word, but they're doing what the Lord says. See, every day, and they're, and they're, and they're constantly repenting. You know, calling on the name Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord has a remnant uh, uh, elect that he's coming back to, to uh, protect and deliver in this end time of, of tribulation, danger. And then there's uh, uh, a two third, there's a good majority of his people um, that uh, they're not seeking the Lord. You know, they, they don't believe on, on the God of Israel. They're trying to mix the, wor the, the world with, with this with this truth with this with, with the Lord's word because the Lord told you whoso be a friend of the world is an enemy unto the father and we know a good majority of our people they love this world they still celebrate all the holidays they don't celebrate none of the Lord's holy days you know, a good majority of our people are still celebrating Christmas. They still celebrate uh, 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 Thanksgiving and Easter and uh, uh, Halloween, you know, New Year's, you know, uh, um, you know, all these uh, paganistic days. But they don't they don't celebrate the Lord's holy days. They don't they don't even uh, uh, care. They don't even take initiative to, to try to look and see um you know, what the Lord, uh, what these days are about. They're into, uh, um, you know, um, all adultery and, um, you know, killing and, you know, robbing and lying and stealing pride, the, the, the pride of men and women. You know, starting with, with, with uh, our people, uh, two thirds. The lust of the eyes and the flesh, they're, they, 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 they uh, put money first. They seek to please men. The Lord is coming back to, uh, he's going to send the ultimate judgment in this end time, starting with two thirds of his own people to you Israelites, the ones that, that just re reject his word. Let me go here. I don't want to make this too long. This will just be a quick hit, man. Uh, Ezekiel Ezekiel uh, 22 Ezekiel 22 and 10 and it reads 
It says, um, In thee have they discovered their father's nakedness. In thee have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. 11. It says, And one hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife. And this is what happens. And this is what's going on amongst our people. You know, uh, uh, the men uh, uh, out of the tribes, you so-called Negroes, not Latinos and Native American Indians, we got men uh, sleeping with other married men's wife. They commit adultery. They even, you know, uh, 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 some of our people, uh, they rap about it or even sing about it in their music and boast and, and brag about it, about being uh, with another man's wife. Adultery. That's a big no-no, you see? But, but our people, they brag about it. It says, and one hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife. See? It says, and another hath uh, lewdly, lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law. See? They sleep with your, uh, you know, men sleeping with their daughter-in-law. Um... Uh, 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 sister-in-law I mean all the all manner of adultery and wickedness amongst our people it says uh, uh, and another in thee hath humbled his sister even to go sleep with your sister or your sister-in-law you know our people are wicked man a good majority of our people you Israelites you know, you, you, you can't, you don't, you, you have no control, self-control and, and just, uh, 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 just a big freak show. See, all manner of adultery and wickedness. It says, um, his, it says, and another in thee hath humbled his sister, hath humbled his sister. How do you humble? By having sex. You know, you got some of our, you know, our people, you Israelites, you, you sleep with the, the daughter-in-law, you sleep with the sister-in-law, you sleep with the grandma. You know, some of these men out here, Jake is just wicked, man. It says, uh, his father's daughter. You know, it, it go that far. It says, um, 12, it says, in thee, it says, in thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. See? Thou hast taken usury and increase, and thou hast greedily, greedily uh, gained of thy neighbors by ex, uh, ex, ex, extortion, and hast forgotten me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Baha'i Shem Yahweh Shai. See, and even to our, our you know, to your uh, preachers, T.D. T. D. Jakes, Creepy Creflo Dollar, Geno Jennings, you know, uh, um, the list goes on, man. You know, and some of these Israelite, Israelite camp leaders, Bishop Nate, you know, uh, uh, and the list goes on, man. Are these, are these uh, 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 the Israelites, some of these uh, uh, preachers and camp leaders and stuff like that and different Men in the congregation, man, they're, they're, they're lying and robbing and stealing from the uh, congregation from their own people and even going so far to commit adultery and uh, do wickedness, um, you know, amongst their people, man. Robbing and stealing from the congregation. The Lord, it said, it tell you, what is that, Proverbs 15 and 3, that uh, uh, the eyes of the Lord are in every every place, beholding the good and evil. Everything that you have done, the Lord, he, he has recorded. He has recorded. He sees everything, every wicked thing and good thing that you have done. See, a lot of people from the, in this, you know, a lot of people, a lot of our people, you Israelites, you you have you know you've prospered you've you're doing well right now and you got it all figured out but in the end here the lord knows who's been doing wicked and you in the end here you about to pay you about to pay there's a lot of you know uh, like i said of our uh, of our people you israelites a good majority of them you've been doing wickedness and you've been the lord just been letting it go he just been letting it go on 
And here it is. You don't think nothing is finna happen, but you, you in the end here, you finna pay. Rich and poor. It says, um, 13. It says, behold, therefore have I smitten mine hand at thy dishonest gain, which thou hast made, and at, and at thy blood, which thee in the midst of thee. See, it says 14. It says, can thine heart endure? Can thine heart endure? Or can thine hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? This is what the Lord is asking. Are you going to be able to withstand uh, 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 what he's bringing in this end time judgment? See, can thine heart endure? Or can thine hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? See, the Lord finna deal with a good majority of you Israelites. You've been doing all manner of wickedness. And, and here it is, the Lord been letting it go on. He, he, he just letting your sins pile up. And here the word is going out every day on the internet, now here on social media, out here on the uh, street ministries. The, the Lord is fin this the, the judgment that the Lord is finna bring in this end time is gonna overwhelm a good majority of you Israelites. You're not gonna be able to handle this. You're not gonna be able to handle this. It says, um, I the Lord have spoken it and will do it. See? Play playtime is almost over. Playtime is almost over, and you've been warned. You've been overly, overly warned day in and day out. It says 14, it says, can thine heart, or Salakia 15, 15, it says, and I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. See, and this is what the Lord has done. You know, uh, even going back to our forefathers all the way until now, he said he was going to scatter us, man, into all nations. And, and, and uh, he was going to, you know, uh, 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 and we were going to be ruled over by those that hate us. And our enemies have got way above us and, and, and uh, we got to go to them in want of all things. You know, and, and, and they and they they have the upper hand on us and the Lord uses them. Ultimately, Esau, Edom, the white man to spank you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians. The Lord uses uh, Esau as his whipping stick and they whip you in all kind of ways. Judicially, you know, financially, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, um, uh, militarily, you know, they, they they spank you tribes, man, gun you down, put you in prison. You know, uh, uh, take advantage of you at the job force. This is the Lord who's doing this. But the Lord, he has a he has an ultimate judgment that's coming. And that's that that's that uh, nuclear fire that's coming. It says 16, it says, and thou shalt take thine inheritance and in thyself in the sight of the heathen. And thou shalt know that I am uh, the Lord. 17, it says, and the and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, 18 son of man the house of israel is to become is to me son of man the house of israel is to me become dross it says all they are brass and tin and iron and and lead in the midst of the furnace they are even they are even the dross of the silver right and and, and you israelites we're the lord's uh, chosen people man we're supposed to, we're, we're uh, it's symbolic to, we are supposed to be the gold and the silver. We're not supposed to be dross and lead. That's the worst part of the uh, silver, of the uh, uh, silver and the gold is that brass and that, and that uh, lead all beat up and beat down. That's what the Lord is comparing us to, but we are supposed to, we're, we're supposed to be the gold and the silver, his people, his treasure. But through behavior and, 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 and this abomination uh, uh, of our people, the good majority of them, you know, look at us, man. Beat down. Run down. Scratched up. You know, uh, 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 you know, 
That, that, that's what he's comparing us to. It says 19. It says, therefore. It says 19. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, because ye are become dross. Be, behold, therefore, I will gather you in, in into the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. 20. It says, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace it says to blow the fire upon it to melt it see and and this is talking about the end time because when has the lord done this this is talking about the end time the lord is about to he he sent he sent uh water in the time of noah but in this end time judgment the ultimate judgment he's going to use fire a lot of you Israelites finna get burnt up in this in this end time in this fire, this fervent heat. It melts concrete. It says, um, so it says, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury. The Lord is angry, man. The Lord is angry. It says, I so I will gather you in mine anger and in my fury. And I will leave you there and melt you. See? See, uh, the, the Lord letting, he letting a lot of you Israelites, rich and poor, that's doing wickedness. Because if you don't come back to this, if you don't, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. If you don't come back to this, this Bible, if you don't come back to seek the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the God of Israel, your power. If you don't come back and to seek him in truth and sincerity, you not you're not gonna make it out of this, man. Your money ain't gonna save you, your job, your status, none of that's gonna save you. If you don't come back to this, Jake, you gonna be melted. You you see, you look on the news and, and, and these are all warning signs, man. The, the, the World War III is inevitable and those ICBM nuclear uh, missiles are going to be used and they're going to be shot off on this place, man. The Lord said he's going to melt you. It says, 21, I'll close out with this. Change your ways, Jake. Change your ways. 21, I'll close out with this. It says, yea, yea, I will gather you hmm, and blow upon you in the fire. Hmm? I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. Shalom.